what's up guys? It's Kyle with another episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. It's 4th of July weekend. It is Saturday. Getting ready to go to a party. Been out, you know, BMX, running errands. Still gotta do my meditation. Fitting it in, so I'm recording this from the truck. And this is what I used to do when I was teaching to leverage my time. I would take an old audio recorder, like so the phones wouldn't do this at that time, and I would speak my articles sometimes into that, and then I would pay somebody to transcribe it. Now with technology, it makes it so easy, but that was an effort, but it was like, you know, I'm gonna leverage this time. I'm not just gonna uh, spend 15, 20 minutes driving from work when I was teaching at the gym. So nonetheless, I wanted to get this in because Monday and Tuesday, we are gonna be down the shore at some friend's house, one of my great, great mentors, Sweet Lou. What I want to talk to you guys about today is stuff that I'm very interested in. I can speak on a pretty high level on it, and some people think it's crazy. Now, what I'm going to talk to you about is stuff like when COVID began, people thought I was insane, that I was out of my mind, that I saw right through the charade of what it really was. Like, there wasn't a second, not a nanosecond, that I believed in the COVID narrative. Not one. So we're going to dive into that and, and my ability to see patterns. And I'll just tell you this. Devin would tell you. My brothers would tell you. The stuff that I predict usually happens. And it might be a year, two years later and all that. But it usually happens, especially when it comes to these crazy world big events. And even in fitness, when you look at it, not to toot my own horn, but I've always been about five to... 10 years ahead of the curve with what is actually health and fitness and the best way to apply training and fasting and things like that. So way ahead of uh, where most people are and, and that's again just my ability to see patterns. That's what I do with mind map. Patterns are key. And I was recently told, I have no idea of my IQ, but I was recently told that by a good friend, Lane, that IQ is really just a measurement of being able to see patterns. So that's the case, maybe I have a high IQ. <laughs> now, do you believe that we landed on the moon? I want to start with that. And you might dismiss this right off the, the gate, right off the bat because of that question. I've researched this, and most people believe we landed on the moon because they've been told that. Now, if we've landed on the moon, why have we not been back? Why has nobody else been there? because we don't have the technology nowadays to do it. That was supposedly something Stanley Kubrick, it was a CIA operation. Stanley Kubrick shot the whole thing. And again, just ask yourself, why haven't we been back? Or why has no other country been back? If, it, if technology is so far advanced from where it was, why has everybody pretty much not been there? And it's just common sense when you look at it like that. I mean, there's people that just write books on this topic alone. And I ask you that question to start because I want you to start questioning everything. That's the way I look at the world. I'm a challenger. And usually I can find much closer to the truth than people that just believe the mainstream. And you gotta think with the mainstream TV and news, it's programming, it's television programming. It's telling you what to think. It is telling you how they want you to think. You have to break free from that matrix. Now a couple predictions I have that can help you if you're paying attention. Like I was just at Lowe's picking up a 64 gallon bin. We just got chicks from my boy Frank. We've had chickens now for a few years. Now, why did I get chickens? Because there's been an attack on the food system for years, but now it's really coming to a head. I obviously see the price of food. Most people don't know that I believe over 150 food processing plants around the country have been blown up or gone up in flames in the U.S. in the past year and a half. Now, the mainstream doesn't report on this. And Again, this is stuff that I really believe to be true. And I usually don't talk too publicly about it. But I figured I'm going to start doing that in the podcast. My buddy said, man, you got to start talking about this stuff more. Uh, some, of the, some of the interesting, weird stuff that I'm into, that I, that I study. So we are in World War III, guys. They're, they're, like COVID really kicked it off. And I said, I told Devin that way before Russia and the Ukraine thing happened. And that's a whole other shenanigan. I don't believe the narrative for, with that for one second. But we are in World War III. It's irregular warfare. Right? It's not kinetic war like we're used to necessarily. But taking down the, the food processing plants and whatnot, that's a big part of that. Now you're gonna see, and the government's been talking about the central digital bank currency. 
Now, this has been talked about for years. They want a cashless society. They want to get everybody into their system because then they, if you disagree with them, like when I opened the gym against COVID, they could shut you off, right? So the question is, are you going to enter that system when the time comes? You might say, well, I don't have a choice. You do have a choice. Start stocking up on stuff. Start buying gold and silver and, and just make a commitment that, hey, I want my freedom is too important for this to be controlled by that. Now, we're going to have to see how it shakes out. I don't think these people can pull it off. A central digital, one world currency, that's what they're talking about. <clears throat> and it all stems back to control, guys. So we'll see if they're able to pull that off. But just be wary. Be, be on the lookout that it's coming. Just like, again, with COVID. I didn't buy And now all the, even if mainstream says it, that it was uh, not nearly as deadly as they reported. We knew that from the, I knew that from the get-go. Um... I knew the vaccines were going to be very, very harmful to people. And again, if you haven't looked at the data, it, it's crazy. Uh, life insurance companies put, put things out, death rates of, of younger age people, but it's off the charts since the vaccine came out. People are dropping dead left and right. Now, if you're not, if you're only watching the mainstream, you don't see this stuff. Look at what happened to Jamie Foxx. It's a thousand percent related to the vaccine. Yeah. Now, there was also in the past year and a half, really, since the vaccines really became more rampant. Over 12 or 1,300 elite athletes worldwide have dropped dead. That beat the number of the prior 40 years of elite athletes just dropping dead on the field of play or, or related to practice. You know, they were all mandated to get the vaccine. And you might be wondering, if you follow me, how I got into the urine therapy. Well, I was listening to a doctor and they were talking about people that got the vaccine. And for the record, I didn't come within 10 feet of that vaccine, nor did anybody in my family. But people can shed the vaccine as well, so that's a whole other topic. But let's go into this interview I listened to with the doctor, where he was talking about clots, the clotting that people have been getting with the vaccine. The only compound we really know that can dissolve clots pretty quickly and safely and effectively is compounds, different compounds within your own urine. So I did that, you know, started consuming urine after I heard that, even though I didn't get the vaccine, because I started looking into all the amazing health benefits of urine. And I've told my friends that, that trust me, that have gotten the vaccine, listen, better be safe than sorry, I would start doing urine therapy. You can take it and dismiss it, but if your life's on the line, and guys, Usually with the people that have suffered with this vaccine, there's no warning sign. They just drop. So you don't know what you got going on with that. And people so, like, blindly jump to trust the government and the medical system. So you should know that really question everything. That's why I'm telling you guys this. And I think I can help a lot of people like this. So start questioning stuff. Start questioning. As, as I'm talking, driving home, there's massive, massive riots going on in Europe. In France, I should say. So there's, there's civil unrest pretty much in the majority of the countries in the world. And I think it's like a great awakening. I do. I think it's, I think there's a lot of evil. I think we, you know, part of the, the war we're in is it is a physical war, right? You have global powers and, uh, you know, America has been taken down from within. And my, my uh, honest but accurate, humble opinion <laughs> So you have that. There's a lot to try to understand, but it's also a good versus evil war. It's a spiritual war. It's an ideological war. So you got to decide what side you're going to be on. Are you going to stand up for what you believe, or are you going to allow things to just happen? Because that's an action, too. You're siding with evil if, if that's what you choose, and you don't speak up, and you don't just go live the way you want to live your life, right? But with the, this nonsense, you know they're going to try to push another lockdown of some sorts. Uh, that's what they do. They already saw they can get away with it. And the things like the mask and the social distancing, what does science say now? As much as I don't really trust science, it, none of it worked. It never worked. No kidding. How could you guys not know this? You know, I mean, I'm not saying you, I'm saying just people out there. Like to me, you know, I, again, recognizing patterns, seeing what they want to do with control. And you got to really start questions because if you have a family, you got to protect your family. You can't just feed them to the wolves. And this, this topic goes like so, I could go so deep with this guy's like with the New World Order, One World Government. And this is stuff that the World Economic Klaus Schwab talks about openly. Most people just have no idea that this stuff even exists and that this is actually going on. So those are a couple insights, predictions, if you will. There is another lockdown coming eventually. Um, 
last thing I'll say too, because I'm driving home, it's still smoky. Those fires started up in Canada, all started at the same exact moment. And if you're listening to this, you don't believe me, I can shoot you footage, of, not from radar, but from the weather system that day, how they all popped up. I'm not talking about one spread to the other. They all started at the same exact moment. These were not natural fires. These were started for an agenda. It's part of the ideological uh, war that is going on in, in the way you can really bring an empire or a country down or people down is through destabilization, demoralization. Those are two of the key aspects, what you're saying. But I'll start talking about more of this stuff on the podcast. We're going to be starting to rumble channel too, too, and maybe on Instagram. Got some cool interviews coming up regarding all this stuff. But if you guys like it, let me know if you want me to talk more about it and go deeper. Oh, man, I'm going to talk to you guys about stuff like Bigfoot and, and, and aliens and all that and, and uh, esoteric knowledge type of stuff that I've studied throughout the years. Cool stuff that I'll start sharing. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Panda Man Official and on YouTube at the Panda Man Official. Uh, Facebook, don't follow my uh, public profile page. Just follow my personal friend me over there or follow me. It's uh, just Kyle Newell. You guys have a great day. Please hit the like button, leave a review on iTunes. I'm going to start doing a contest with that for people that leave a review. I'll give them some free swag. So get on that. Maybe I'll surprise you if you leave a review. If you leave a review, also let me know. And uh, much appreciated, guys. Love you all.